Hi guys, Tom Quayle here. Hope you're all doing very well indeed as ever. Today I'm doing a video on this. This is the Boss Katana Air EX. And the reason I'm doing a video on this is a little bit different to the reason normally I would do a product demo, as in, you know, Boss and I have collaborated and so on and so forth. I actually saw the Anderton's video for this and I immediately knew I had to have one. I didn't have the previous Katana Air, but I heard the video and I was like, man, that thing sounds amazing. And it's perfect for someone like me in terms of my practice. So in this video, I will explore a few of the features, but the main purpose of this video is to tell you why this was so perfect for someone like me and uh, why I kind of just had to have this product. It's one of the things I was being most excited about in years, really, in terms of getting a product that might enhance my practice sessions. So. Without further ado, let's check out the Katana Air EX. So the Katana Air EX is essentially a fully fledged Katana. So you've got your five different preamps or channels on there. You've got all the effects, you've got the full kind of EQ on there. Everything that you would expect from a Katana, but in a smaller compact unit that is completely wireless. So you get, with this unit, you get the transmitter here, the WLT transmitter, and the receiver is built in to the device here. Now, for someone like me, and I'll explain why in a second, this is huge. So, believe it or not, this is kind of counterintuitive. When I have finished working in this room, even with all this gear in here, I do not want to practice guitar for myself in this room because I spend all day in here. It's a little bit like the whole thing of, you know, if you work in an ice cream van, you don't want ice cream anymore. I spend all my time in this room when I want to relax with the guitar or do some practice that's away from kind of like really studious, hardcore stuff. I don't want to sit in this room. I want to sit in my living room and just play. Now, I do have a small practice amp in my living room. But the thing is, when I want to use it, it's a clean amp. So I need a pedal board in there. So I've got a small pedal board in there. And then I plug the cable from the pedal board into the amp. Then I have to drag that pedal board to my feet because there's a looper on there and I want to use the looper with it. And so I've got to do that, you know, there's delay, reverb, whatever, kind of overdrives because it's just a clean amp. So I've got that going on. Then I've got the power cable from the pedal board that's kind of, you know, going across the floor. I've got guitar cabled into the pedal board, pedal board cabled into the amp. I've got to turn all that stuff on. And then my dog, Sprout down here, she might wander over accidentally pull the cable out. She might accidentally pull the power out. She might trip over it. I've got a cat. She's getting cat hair all over the pedal board. It's just not conducive to a fun kind of off the cuff practice session sat down in front of maybe Netflix and just playing. It's just a pain, you know, completely kind of ruins the vibe essentially. So the reason I was so inspired by wanting or needing, as I should say, really in this case, the Katana Air EX, is because of this completely wireless nature. So this product basically sits on a stand in my living room. First of all, it looks great and it's really lightweight. It's small. It doesn't take up too much space. And then I've got permanently the WLT wireless transmitter plugged into, some of you guys might have seen my blue Japanese custom shop Ibanez. It's plugged in there on a stand just next to, you know, the, the sofa. And I pick it up and immediately the WLT transmitter turns on. That then sends a signal to the Katana Air, which also turns on. I don't have to do anything, don't have to touch anything. Pick the guitar up and just start playing. And the last sound that I used is already in there. And I don't even have to touch the Air EX because I've got the app on my phone. It's already loaded up. You'll see some B-roll of that. I've got all the control I want available via the app. So at the moment... <laughs> I've got like a high gain kind of modern lead kind of rock sound. If I want to change anything on the app, I just go down to a clean tone. Immediately it's done. I don't have to touch anything. So in terms of inspiration, in terms of thinking, I want to practice, I want to sit down and play guitar. It's instantaneous. There's no clutter, there's no mess, there's no issue at all. I just pick the guitar up and just go. And that is absolutely fantastic for me because I don't want to have to plug into all this gear and set up a sound, you know, at the end of the day when I just want to practice. So it's phenomenal in that regard. And because you've got the full Katana sound set on there, you know, all the same channels, all the same effects, everything is there. You can change the signal path if you want to, move where the delay is, for instance. 
it's really, really convenient. And I can store my presets on there as well and have everything ready to go without ever having to touch anything on the amp. It's so, so convenient. Now, the other thing with the EX that really attracted me when I watched the Anderton's video was just how fantastic it sounded. This is actually a really hard thing to show you in the room. I know the Anderton's guys had issues with this as well because this is an in the room sound, hence the, the air thing really refers to the kind of wireless side of things. But you need to hear the air moving in the room and it's a small sound. And if we close mic it, it's not right. If I room mic it, you're hearing string noise. So I have set a stereo pair of room mics up you know, that gives you some idea of how it sounds, but it just sounds huge in the room. It sounds really, really, really fat and warm and lush. The effects sound great. And you know, it's not a really big thing, but it's got a big sound. They've upgraded the handle as well. So that looks nicer. You know, we've got a, a kind of upgraded chassis. This is actual wood now, as opposed to plastic and metal. So it really is fulfilling all of the kind of practice needs I've got without compromising on tone, which is superb. The other thing for me, which really attracted me uh, to this unit is I also have a Roland FPX uh, 90X uh, piano in my living room. And one of the things I was using that for, as well as obviously practicing piano, it's a great sounding piano. It's got a really nice speaker system built into it. And I would, you know, Bluetooth my phone up to the FP90X and run tracks through there, audio, either for practice purposes or just for listening to and enjoying music, which is something, again, I do less and less of these days. So here, again, Bluetooth straight to the Katana Air EX and I can play my tracks through there and just use it for listening to and enjoying music and it sounds great. So a really convenient function. So again, it's fulfilling two roles in my music life that were kind of, I was avoiding beforehand. So this is a really, really nice thing. Another thing that Boss have included with this, which is really appealing to me is when I travel, I use the Pocket GT, which is basically a, a small practice tool for using before shows or before, you know, a clinic or whatever. And it allows me to practice with headphones. But what's very cool is it's got this session mode so you can uh, load up YouTube videos into the session app on your phone and slow them down. You can loop sections. That's actually built into the app for the Katana Air EX now as well. So you can go into the session mode and load up YouTube videos and, as I say, loop certain sections or slow them down. It's a really, really convenient feature and you can save playlists, basically, of your favorite YouTube backing tracks to play to. So it's really, really nice. Uh, so it's a great, great thing. I'm gonna show you a couple of different sounds, um, you know, some of the effects built in and stuff, but it's essentially the Katana sound. Before I do that, one quick thing that I've heard a lot of people talking about is, this is expensive and why would I buy this as compared to just a straight Katana? For me, personally, that is answered by some of the stuff I've mentioned already, because obviously the Katana 100 and the Katana 50 are amazing practice amps and they're great for gigging as well. But you run into the same issue that I've had with the practice amp that's already in my living room, which has actually been replaced by this now, which is that you need to cable into there, you need to actually have the kind of foresight and the um, incentive, if you like, to plug the guitar in, you know, go and turn the amp on, cable up, and you'd be amazed how easy it is to procrastinate for practice when you've got anything, any barrier in the way to stop you from practicing. I am a big old procrastinator, especially when it comes to practice these days, because I play guitar for a living. So the idea of just being able to pick the guitar up and immediately start playing and the amp turns on and everything just happens. And not having those cables stretched across the floor, you know, the clutter in a living room of having cables and where do you put the cable when you've finished? You've got to have a cable for the amp that's in your living room, a different cable for the amps that are here in your studio or wherever it is that your main setup is. That's just a pain. So in this case, leave this permanently plugged in, lasts for 12 hours. And then, you know, when you need to charge it, just pull it out, no noise. Did you hear that? Didn't make a pop. Nothing. If I want to charge it, plug it straight in there. We are good to go, despite the wobble on the mic on the uh, music stand. You can see it's charging. Pull it out. Okay. Plug it into the guitar. Notice it also does fit this unusual configuration of jack socket on the AZs here. Fits no problem, and we are good to go. Instantaneously. Okay, so as I mentioned, you've got full access on the app and I'm going to use the app here rather than the controls, even though they're right next to me. This is a slightly artificial environment for the video. In my living room, it sits in the corner of the room on a nice stand looking very pretty and I never touch it. 
never need to touch it at all. So I'm gonna use the app for this. This is a brown sound with a SDE 3000 delay on it. Um, and if I go back to the preset here, let's load it up again. So much fun to play, sounds amazing. If I select, let's do this power octave. <laughs> immediate access to really great sounds. If I go to this comp chorus. So there's no compromise in terms of sound here. The original air maybe was a little bit compromised compared to the larger amps, just in terms of the size of the chassis. This now sounds absolutely fantastic. So I really, really could not be happier with this. This is a genuine kind of like, I need that product video. You know, I do a lot of product demos on this channel. This is sort of a product demo, but more in terms of me just like genuinely being excited about these products and how it's gonna change my ability and kind of um, stop procrastinating basically in terms of practice because I just like everyone else need to do practice in terms of maintenance of my technique and also trying to develop myself as a player and I just wasn't doing it and this really already I'm finding myself doing more practice pick the guitar up and just go it's absolutely awesome so to enhance this idea of pushing through the procrastination of practicing there's actually a few more features that make this kind of an enjoyable experience generally in terms of tonally and also that kind of ease of use. So the other thing is that the WLT transmitter will switch itself off after a minute and a half of not being used. So once you're done, you just put the guitar down onto the stand and then after sort of a minute, minute and a half, and you can change that time by the way, you can make it shorter or longer if you want to, it will just switch off and then the Katana Air EX will switch off as well or go into standby mode, ready for the next time you pick the guitar up to practice again. Now in terms of the Sonic experience, as um, sort of opposed to say, for instance, buying a Katana 50 or 100, maybe even spending the extra money on the wireless transmitter and receiver for that amp, this is full stereo as well. So you're getting that stereo sound, that spread, the lush reverbs and choruses and delays all in stereo, which is a really, really nice thing. And it can also be battery powered. So, you know, as opposed to plug into the mains, if you want a really portable setup for traveling, this is a lot easier to take with you in that regard as well and just power by a series of AA batteries. Uh, super, super cool. You do of course have the line out on the back as well for recording and the USB if you want to either control it via USB or if you want to actually record with it as well. So it's got all those same features, the exact same feature set as the Katana, the larger one, but with this kind of wireless ability, very, very cool. Definitely recommend you guys check it out. It is quite an expensive device, but if you're like me and you're a procrastinator, it's well worth checking out because it really is going to transform my ability to practice outside of this work environment and just enjoy the guitar again, you know, not, it doesn't feel like work. So you'll find a link in the video description below where you can check out the Katana Air EX. I definitely recommend you check out the Anderton's video as well. I'll leave a link to that below or you've probably seen that at this point as well. And you can check out all the specs on there as well. Um, you know, check out the specs on the Boss website. But I'm in love with this thing. I think it's absolutely awesome and I can't wait to do more practice with it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Of course, hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And if you want to support me in what I do on this channel, check out the lessons below and also my app Solo. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.